All right, guys. Well, uh, I'm going to take you on a little tour of the stage. Maybe some of the behind the scenes um, stuff that goes on. I'll show you the dressing area and the, the towers where we go to open the show and stuff like that. And show you where the people who queue the fire and, uh, and the water all work out. It's a massive production we have here. I think in all there's about uh, 160 people here doing this show with us. The stage has grown. Um, for the stadiums, uh, we, I'll start by just showing you. We, we put this big inflatable here that um, you know we, we've put lights in there. It's going to light up beautifully. But we wanted to put this in to, to try and give it a more of a curve rather than this straight flat stage. We wanted to try and frame it. So we've gone for this lovely frame. It was intended to mimic the um, the, the new Wembley Stadium, but unfortunately that's not ready. So. Uh, but we kept it anyway, because we thought it looked good. Come on. So this is our main area, I guess, um, where most of the songs are sung and the choreography happens. If you look down here, there's a grill, um, which comes into play in Relight My Fire. Basically, uh, you have to put this in. The, as we're performing the song, there's like pilot lights down here, and this is obviously where the flames come up. There's a, I think it's 40 foot of flame, a wall of flame, um, and it's very warm, very hot, as you'll see on the show. But uh, a few times, I've got my PVC trousers on, and I felt like they were sticking to me. I thought it had burned right through. This, the front of the stage, um, this is this was built especially for the rain, um, because during a couple of the numbers. It rains on stage. If you can see, it's like a little couple of inch, like a, a lip. So this like almost becomes like a little paddling pond, I guess, in a way. And uh, and it all drains down into the funnels at the at the front here. The middle of the stage here, this is a ramp that goes up and down. It's used quite a lot throughout the show. I think the first time it gets used is the um, Apache, uh, not the Apache, the Tango. Um, we bring up this like mirrored kind of floor I guess uh, to affect the lights and Kika our tango dancer she dances beautifully on top of there and it but the piano goes up and down and a sofa comes up on here when we do the uh, Apache the uh, boom box that we all um, play comes up up here so this probably the one of the most used piece of apparatus on stage at the back here um, this rises up and down as well this is where we make our entrance um, these screens open as we come through. This, we made this big piece for the opening um, that almost shows us from mannequins coming into life and this is where we come through. This, this comes up to meet us and uh, brings us down onto the floor to, to greet the audience. If you look out now, this is what we, we see. As we come out onto the stage, the city of Manchester Stadium, this is our city. This is where we're all from Manchester as well, so it's very special. And Jason's especially excited because he is a Manchester City fan and, uh, and so he's very happy to be playing here. We have Donovan, he plays drums for us, this is his bass. Big drum kit, lots of drums to bash away out there. Uh, we have Mike Stevens, he's our MD, he plays keyboards, guitars, saxophone. We have Lee, who plays bass for us. Lovely lad. Lee, Lee's new into our setup, um, but he's Fantastic, very funny man. We have uh, Carlos on percussion. That's his little box here. So just... Now Carlos, just to let you know, he has no microphones. I don't know whether he... Oh, he does have a microphone. I thought he had no microphones. But he has microphones on his hands. So anything he hits, picks up off these microphones off his hands, which I think is pretty impressive. Um, on keys, we have Bernie and Jamie. Both playing here. Um, Bernie's played with us before. Jamie's... It's his first tour he's done with us. And out on the on guitars, electric guitars and a bit of acoustic, we have Milton. Uh, Milton McDonald, he's played with us in the past as well. He played with us back in the day when we used to tour um, many years ago. So that's the band, this is where they play. If you look up here, we have a halo. We call it the halo. Um, this goes up and down throughout the show for various reasons. We can also perform on top of there, which we do in the tango. And it's great because um, Simon, a lighting guy, has been able to put lights in there as well, so it's, he loves it. The four screens, when the show starts, um, 
they're all together. As you can see, they can split off into four different directions, so we use them for different different things really. Um, sometimes for some songs they're all together and it gives a great effect just as one big screen and for other songs we part them out and it just allows us to give the, the stage a bit more dynamic I think and I think that's what we really wanted to do. We've got these little cages as well where the dancers perform um, in doing a couple of the numbers. Uh, initially when they, they went up there they were a little bit scared because it's pretty high and vertigo was setting in but I think they've got used to it now. And uh, yeah, they perform in Why Can't I Wake Up? Um, and also Relight My Fires performed in there as well now. And uh, yeah, the towers, there's three stories to the towers, and that's we walk basically up the back tower. Before every show, Skippy will always say to us, To the tower! And that's where we go, we climb up there and obviously come out around the back. This is the area where on stage sound is, and also our earpieces so is all, uh, all sorted out. And uh, all the cues, the cues for the stages going up and down. Hey, Hello there, sir. How are you? Oh, very well, Charles. Hello. And this is where all the screens are um, operated, all the visuals. Um, we've got two big side screens and, uh, and the screens on stage as well. I haven't got a clue how it works. A lot of buttons, lots of little monitors. They know what they're doing. I don't. But uh, it looks impressive. And. Uh, and I think it's probably the biggest screen setup we've had in, on any of our tours in the past. Mm. This is Jason's mic that he uh, sings into when he does uh, the Apache thing, that he does his rap. And this is, we're under the stage now, and this is basically the dressing area. Um, the girls have their own dressing room. It's all lined out, now all the clothes are set up for, um, for the show. This is us, this is where us guys get ready for Four chairs. These are my tango shoes. Very nice. Hopefully we can have these at the end of the tour. Um, but yeah, this this is all set out for us before we, we get here. I think they, they kind of prep everything during the day. So it just basically comes in and out. It works like clockwork. work. Here's some of our outfits. This is Gary's tango outfit. And Gary's uh, jacket for relight. Howard's Apache, sure, outfit. These trousers, I love these trousers. Jason wears these trousers for Relight My Fire. And you see the sequins on them. Beautiful trousers. Very nice. This is it, and this is the, the Beatles suits. Got these specially made by a tailor from London. Very posh. Little wig here. Um, happy birthday to you. Yeah. No, stop. When we put the show together, we wanted to find a way to get out into the audience. Now, when we did the arenas, we had a stage that came down um, from the from the roof, really, and came down. But obviously, we can't do that because there is no roof. So, well, instead, I'll show you what we built. We call it the Golden Circle. And this is where we perform the Beatles and uh, now we do show out here and the uh, Never Forget as well. So ladies and gentlemen, the stage. Uh, Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 